Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series, the number 94 Cobra Mole Rat. This is a Walmart exclusive that went up during the last uh, Collector Con, not the one that just happened. Um, I did not get mine from Walmart. I, so just a heads up, didn't get mine from Walmart. I got mine from Figure Grail underscore USA on Instagram. Link in the video description below. Make sure you are following him. Um, and then be on the lookout for his sale post. Anytime he's able to import in some Hasbro G.I. G.I. Joe Classified Series figures, he will have them for sale on his Instagram story, so make sure to check him out. If you're looking for import figures and that sort of thing, check out his website, figuregrail.com. I'll also have a link to the in the video description below to his website, but make sure you are following him, step one, and be on the lookout for his Instagram story sale posts. I got Mole Rat from him. Um, I got few figures from him, actually. I got Nunchuck, I got Shooter, I got Mole Rat, and I got... Uh, the Crimson Alley Viper all at one shot shipped out super fast and came in like two days. So it was awesome. Um, so make sure, again, follow him. But here we have the Mole Rat. So with the G.I. Joe Classified Series, because I don't review a whole lot of them, but I do want to review them when I can and when it makes sense. I have a pile of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight others. Oh, plus two other. I have 10 G.I. Joe Classified Series figures um, that are newish that I haven't even opened yet. Uh, but, so I want to try and get through, through them as quickly as I can. Um, so I want to try and make uh, Classified Series videos um, as short as possible without going into a whole lot of things. So you won't see like side-by-side um, -side comparisons and things like that. I'll give you a good look at the accessories um, and talk about the articulation, but then we're just going to cut it off short there. Um, hopefully... Um, you guys stick around and watch with me along as I review the classified series stuff. I tend to over talk, which I'm doing now. Um, I want to try and cut that out. Uh, the packaging for the mole rat looks awesome. Look at the artwork and the background diorama and stuff. The artwork for the mole rat as well, uh, which is pretty cool. We got all the accessories and everything that he comes with. Uh, there is a QR code if you want to use that. I don't think it actually goes anywhere, but hey, it's there in case you want it. But here is the mole rat, and this thing is pretty damn awesome. Let's get in for a closer look at all the details. Okay, so here we have a close look at the mole rat head sculpt. So this is kind of the zombie one, or the one that was exposed to the dark energon. Um, and he has like these purple crystals kind of, you know, coming out of his face and stuff. It's pretty crazy looking. Uh, but does look really good. We do have a standard head sculpt here that does have like a gas mask or just, you know, a mask on because he's, you know, down digging and mining for dark energon, which comes in this canister here. It doesn't really glow like the pictures would have you uh, believe, uh, but the canister, you know, I guess would be more like a lantern if it was actually glowing, but we have that uh, there in terms of the accessories. Here is some kind of device. I, I think this is probably used for detecting um, the dark energon or something. You know, you could just hold it in his, in his hand uh, like so, and he would just hold it. Pictures just kind of showed it like that. Um, we get this awesome uh, weapon here. So a couple of things. So this right here uh, can turn into a gun with this separate piece here. Uh, so it just ports in and plugs in together. So there you have a gun and that looks pretty good. Uh, you could separate out the piece and it's held in there pretty damn good. As you can see, it's kind of keyed in to fit in a certain way. Um, if you ask me, it's on there a little too damn tight. Um, and then here we have this other one, same thing, it's on there very tight, but this then becomes a drill bit there. So you have a drill um, that he can come with too as he's, you know, digging and mining around uh, for Dark Energon. We also get this backpack piece here, which has this hose there that in the pictures it shows that it connects to the alternate head sculpt. But I will show you that um, that's not actually a possibility, it doesn't work. We're going to port that backpack on there. Um, and then it's just kind of out there, but we're going to pop off that head and we're going to swap on the new one, the alternate one. So there we have the mask. So in the pictures, this shows this hose is being ported into that head sculpt, but this doesn't, f doesn't fit, or at least I can't get it to, f oh yeah, it does, it does port in. So you can plug it in there. Um, so it goes on to the side. There's also this other hose piece. So I don't know why it would connect. The backpack would connect to the mask and then this front portion would also then connect here in the front of his suit there and then port into the mask as well. So it's connected on two sides. I don't know why necessarily it would need to unless inhale, exhale. Maybe that's what it is. 
Um, so you could do that, but then you want to move the head around and it's not going to like these things are just going to kind of pop out of place. Uh, so just a heads up on that. I think it could work even without if that's something that you wanted to do, but you do have those hoses there. Uh, looking at the figure, we get a Cobra logo there. Nice sculpted texture throughout the figure as well. The suit along the blue, as you can see, the orange is kind of more of the... Um, the uh without you know the texture just kind of the soft smooth areas uh but the rest of it is textured he does have pins on the legs because it, I, th I believe these are like the roadblock legs uh from early on uh where the boots are going to be different a little bit of orange there i think you know blue and orange kind of hazmat type suit looking at the backpack there um as you can see but yeah all looks really really good so now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation Okay, so the mole rats, the head's on a dumbbell joint, so you can't really get him to look up too much, unfortunately. Uh, looking down is a little bit tricky as well. The neck is on a separate piece in there, but the neck doesn't itself doesn't allow for a whole lot of motion. You just get some forward and backwards in there. Um, full rotation in that head, and you do get some pivot. And again, they're kind of zombified, so it makes sense when you can do um, kind of pivot the neck in certain ways. The arm you can get to go straight on out like so. Full rotation in there. You do have the upper bicep swivel in there. And then you have a double jointed elbow that is pinless, so that much bend there at the elbow, which is nice. Wrist swivel and the two trigger finger hands uh, both have the vertical hinge on there, like so. Um, let's see, there is a diaphragm cut on this guy. Let's turn on one more light, try and give us a little bit brighter. So he could tilt to his left all the way that much there with both the waist and the diaphragm. Um, tilt to the right that much there. Going back is pretty good coming forward though is not a whole lot so you have these big ass pieces here kind of like with shooter that really just get in the way of trying to crunch uh the figure forward it just doesn't allow um a whole lot of motion you know if you use the hips then you can get them to go down further than that but the torso itself just doesn't allow for it the upper diaphragm you get a little bit of swivel in there too but then you can also swivel at the waist uh, the legs do have the drop down feature there uh, so you get the legs to do the full on splits as you can see there it can kick forward that far leg doesn't really go back you got an upper thigh cut in there uh, double jointed knee it does have pins these are reused legs but they work with the figure just fine uh, you do have a boot swivel right at the top of the orange there foot hinges down you get some hinge up ankle pivot pickles at the bottom of the feet um, but even with the articulation you could still do kind of zombified weird looking stuff that ends up working out okay so there's my review of the mole rat um i know again you know i'm trying to make it you know these videos a, l a little bit shorter um to to try and make it so they're not so long um and boring you guys out with all the talk i did forget to mention that there is technically a butterfly joint in there but as you can see there there's not really a lot of motion going on um in there but you know i got i gotta mention it uh this is definitely a fun one the, this zombie head sculpt is, is pretty damn crazy there so you can do you know army builders you can have a bunch of them or you can have them all you know ready to mine and kind of do some crazy things um definitely a lot of fun factor in this one so you know between the two that i've looked at just recently the shooter figure and this one these i think are going to be some of the most fun um in the classified series line shooter is definitely a, a very unique and, and awesome one uh but this one too and its own right um a, an army of zombies would be pretty damn interesting um to see so you guys let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this mole rat figure um did you secure your pre-order with walmart if you're worried about you know getting one that's all crushed um or getting it canceled or not being able to get a hold of it at all make sure you hit up figure grail underscore usa on instagram link in the video description below and be again be on the lookout for his gi joe classified series sales posts they're imported in so they're going to be available a lot earlier than what you'll see um at retail so make sure to check them out uh, if you guys like this video please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the mcu collect if you're uh wanting to show some support for the channel and as always thank you for watching